Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Maelstrom in the Silver Bullet. Uh, Maelstrom's got Spidey Wing and Nexo Hunter with him. I'm not sure what Spidey's using. Uh, it might also be a Silver Bullet, actually. Might be... Where's it Gustav Carl? It's hard to make the icons out at this size on my screen. So it wasn't the glasses, it was the screen. This is a 700 room, so it could also be a variety of other things. Um, but, uh, yeah. Silver Bullet is a, uh, I believe the level 2 is a 700. It is uh, built on the same basic frame as the Dove and Wolf and Gundam Mark V. And it's a general with pretty decent capabilities in addition to, you know, some standard weapons like this beam saber, like, uh, uh, like a beam rifle, beam launcher, all those things. It also has both an incom and can just la launch its arm with a beam saber in hand at the enemy. Which, I think that technically counts as a beam attack in, in the game's engine, but it really should be a ranged melee attack in the same way that uh, the uh, Moon Gundam's uh, butterfly edges are a ranged uh, melee attack. There's a few other ranged melee moves in the game. And I just, I, you know, that's obviously what that should be. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, one of, just one of those things I'd like to see them do. But, and there is the Saber. And out it goes and down it goes and didn't quite catch, but that's okay because it's fun to watch. Um, that excess, ah, took, uh, took a shot there. Okay, the Fenix actually jumped in front of a shot that I think was aimed at the excess and, uh, took the damage and fell on its face. And uh, now, let's see, now Mail is of course launching missiles, because, yeah, it has those too. Uh, like I said, it's it's a pretty good suit all around. I need to use it more myself, but uh, there's so many different suits in this game that I, I... There's so many things I need to catch up on using, but... Ah, good assist there. Got the damage in at least, I'm pretty sure, and ow. It looked like he almost made an emergency eject, but the game just decided no. No, he did not. Nexo, of course, is in the Gerbera Tetra, and he's landing a bunch of beam machine gun shots on that XS, which, you know, fairly large target, does not fly particularly quick. And, uh, yeah, it can do, uh, you know, it's the build stun on the beam machine gun is pretty good. I've been in, like I said, I've been trying to get that one request with the Gerbera Tetra, and I've been enjoying using it, so, you know, nothing wrong with that. I, uh... Yeah, I have a feeling Nexo does a far better job of using it at 700 than I do, though, but that's just, uh, that's to be expected, because, you know, everybody's got favorite suits. I've kind of been thinking about trying to gather, like, a round of, uh, you know, like a brand new round from everybody with their favorite suits and just make a guest week of that. I think it could be fun, because, you know, I, I don't think... I don't think I'd get many, if any, duplicates out of it. In, uh, uh, the uh, I think it's the most interesting thing. I, you know, I know people who like uh, uh, who you know like the same suits, but in terms of their absolute favorites, I don't think there's much, if any, overlap I in the uh, group of friends I usually uh, uh, grab videos from. So, yeah, that could be that could be an interesting thing. I'll have to uh, ask folks about it and see what they think, but. That's right, I forgot, uh, Silver Bullet also has an incendiary, a set of incendiary missiles to be specific, so... I forget if it has two different kinds, or if incendiaries are the only kind, but either way, yeah, incendiaries. And, yep, had to, uh, walk around the wing to the Medea, because I'm pretty sure that, you know, like most ranged and melee weapons, if it hits a piece of scenery first, it doesn't count as a hit. So... And there is Al. And, uh, hopefully whatever the conversation is happening behind me is not coming through on the mic. Also, I may sneeze just to make this recording complete. And, let's see. Really hoping not to, but, you know, this, the sneeze obeys no one. Uh, if I do, I will cut it out, because nobody needs to hear that. Uh, but, yeah, let's see. 85-45 to 90-45, so very close scores. If, uh, male and number four can get that kill, they will, uh, put the team in the lead. And, let's see, just trying to, uh, fend off things. The excess managed to pull away at the last second, so that, that beam saber swing did not hit it. That's, uh, good for it, I guess. 
That is, I'm pretty, yeah, that's a, a an enhanced double Zeta. I believe it also just croaked, so. Uh, yeah, so that does put uh, the team in the lead. And there's an excess that I have a feeling uh, the way it fell down, he either caught it just as it was hopping off the ledge or just as it was uh, about to uh, try and transform. Either one is, uh, is not the bad news. Because, of course, if you're in the air and you get hit with a stunning attack, or if you're, you know, jumping down from something and you get hit with a stunning attack, odds are good you will, uh, uh, you will be, uh, knocked on your face. That's not 100% true. Oh, good shot with the Mega Beam Cannon. Um, there, of course, raids have an Assault Booster skill, which I believe helped them on their ascent. I don't know about falling. Ah, Spidey's in the Moon Gundam, I believe. Moon Gundam is fun. Just the, uh, the Psycho Plates can do really, really high damage. They're fun to use. Um, you know, the, uh, Butterfly Edges, uh, like I said, I believe do count as a ranged melee attack. I feel like the Psycho Plates probably should too, but they're, they're ballistic. I mean, that's a weird, you know, that's a weird definition of ballistic, but ballistic in the, in the terms of this game basically means you know, physical ranged attack, so it, it kind of tracks. Which, you know, again, beam, the beam saber thing, the beam saber should not be a ranged beam attack, because the kind of beam in a beam rifle and the kind of beam in a beam saber are two completely different things. So, yeah, they, that, just because it's a, just because it's a moving beam saber does not make it a beam weapon per se. So, it's, like I said, I think they haven't changed that yet. They should, but they haven't. Um, but yeah, because, uh, although I think most of the things that defend against beams w are, do also deflect a beam saber, even though it's, uh, you know, the eye field will, def uh, will deflect, uh, both, you know, beam projectiles and, uh, uh, beam sabers just because the, uh, you know, the beam, the, uh, project, the eye field is what keeps the, uh, beam projectile, or the, uh, beam saber plasma contained. So, you know, the, the two fields, uh, you know, intersecting and keeping each other's plasma out is what causes the, uh, causes beam saber clashes. But, uh, let's see. This is going to be a really close one regardless, but... Yeah, I think uh, uh, Maelstrom's done really well here. He has hit with just about every weapon this thing has, I'm pretty sure. Including, yes, the Flying Beam Saber, so good kill there. If everybody can stay alive, they've got this. It's about 10 seconds to find out. And that's a good kill if he can uh, line up the shot. Looks like Nexo's headed for it as well. Again, good call. Uh, uh, Maelstrom and Nexo both have high health, so... And yeah, if it, uh, I think Maelstrom to a certain extent managed to kind of uh, uh, draw the attention of the other two before they could uh, get to Nexo. So yeah, good closing stratagem there and uh, a good round. 14,969 to 13,980 uh, and 4-2 and, and 91,000 damage. Not bad at all. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later. Yeah, I want to say I think that the Tri-Blades and the Incom Tri-Blades uh, on the Dryson and Totus Ritter respectively can also count as ranged melee attacks. Not 100% certain on that, but I think so. On the other hand, I don't believe that the uh, Kunai thrown by the uh, Ifrit Schneid and uh, the uh, Ifrit Noct count as uh, ranged melee, so... And, you know, it's a case-by-case -case basis, but I still do feel like the, uh, the Incom Saber should be ranged melee.